So you want to look expensive, but you're on a budget. Don't worry. I got you. Let's get it. Tip number one is to wear black. I'm sure you've heard of this already. Easy. Don't have to think. Now, tip number two is to stop washing your clothes so much. Listen, fellas, you don't have to wash your clothes after each wear when you didn't even sweat. And if you're on a budget, this is probably the worst thing you can do as washing your clothes is what can deteriorate a garment and then you're gonna have to replace it eventually. Now, I'm not saying leave your house like a 14 year old gamer with Mountain Dew stains on their shirt. That's stupid. I'm just saying maybe cut your washing in half. Think of this like shampooing your hair. You know, if you shampoo it every day, it's gonna look horrible, dry, brittle, not that nice. When you wash your clothes less, that just means less water use, less electricity use, less detergent use, which just means you save money on your utilities and detergents and your clothes are gonna last longer so that you don't have to keep replacing them. All right, tip number three is to invest in footwear that'll cover the most situations. I don't know if you noticed, but I don't wear Jordans all too much anymore. Not because I don't like Jordans, I think they're a beautiful sneaker. I just find I like to gravitate towards simplicity, not having to think so much about, okay, what goes best with this type of sneaker and trying to create a ton of fits and waste a good chunk of time doing that. I like sneakers that can fit in basically every single outfit I put together. And you know what will cover the most situations? White leather sneakers and Chelsea boots. But in my case, it's the Doc Martens Chelsea boots because I don't know if you noticed, the New York City area isn't winning any awards for the cleanest city in the world. And dog owners don't seem to pick up their dog's poop, but whatever. These, while being up there in price, will never be replaced, so you'll get more bang for your buck. Because of how many outfits these can complement, your cost per wear is going to be so small because you're going to be wearing it so much. And of course, these types of footwear do look expensive because of their leather materials. These white leather sneakers I can wear with wide fit cargos all the way to slim fitting trousers. And the boots are perfect for dates, for meetings, for work. Just these two kicks alone is going to take your fashion journey very far. And tip number four is trousers, trousers, trousers. Trousers are the most timeless pants that you can own and they make it in so many variations that there's always going to be something for everyone. And they go with everything as well while being in that chic expensive vibe. Like I, I just don't know what it is about these pants. They just feel premium, they make you look nicer and they make you look more expensive. And I think I have to give it to the pleated work which is just that simple crease that adds a sharp line to the whole entire garment. Trousers over denim and cargo pants any day if you're trying to look expensive. Like check out these trousers right here. I don't know if you can see. These are only 50 bucks from Uniqlo. Just a simple single pleat that will stay in my wardrobe forever. And that is just the beauty of Uniqlo and why I always recommend them. And I can actually finally say this, this video is brought to you by Uniqlo. So Uniqlo is the best place to start off in fashion as a dude, or even if you're a veteran. Uniqlo's basics and essentials are premium for the price, the designs are timeless, and they have a variety of styles. Like just check out their latest Uniqlo U collection. This poncho fits in a more tech wear look, this minimal overshirt is timeless and comes in a variety of colors, and they got more trendy stuff like this oversized jacket and their parachute pants. But y'all know me, I've been rocking their oversized tees and their coats for years. And that's what you want in order to save some money and look chic at the same time. Timeless pieces, premium construction, with a little risk involved in terms of the designs, the color choices, etc. Alright, I'm about to show y'all just how versatile Uniqlo's items are. Here we have an outfit base consisting of just their trousers and their tank top. And this alone is a good base to start off with. It's getting warmer now, so all you really have to do is throw on the minimal overshirt. Simple, casual, looks a little bit more chic and great for the warmer weather. Now let's just say it gets way too hot. Or you could just take this off and we're gonna toss on their oversized Arizona t-shirt which is breathable and it's in a fun colorway. Simple, fits the summer vibe, breathable. Now let's just say you live in a colder climate. All we gotta do is just toss on one of their hoodies. And if it gets even colder, you can always layer with an overcoat. And this is a fit that you can wear time and time again. You can mix it with different styles, different underlayers. Uniqlo is my go-to place for basics and a brand I always recommend to my friends. So if you're looking for the best basics that go with everything at an affordable price, check out Uniqlo by clicking that link in the description. And thank you Uniqlo for sponsoring this video. Okay, tip number five is to invest in timeless minimal jewelry. Something simple, elegant, and preferably made with sterling silver. This isn't gonna make your skin green, they have a nice shine to it, and there's a noticeable quality jump from stainless steel. If you've seen my old videos, I've had a ton of different rings built out over time, and clearly I do not wear them anymore. They were stainless steel, had some edgy designs and some minimal designs, but they weren't very nice, turned my finger green. All of that has cost more than all the sterling silver that I'm wearing right now. So anyways, jewelry is one of the best things you can do to top off an entire fit. In fact, I don't think a fit is complete without some sort of jewelry. It's like adding decor to your home. If you just have a couch, a table, TV, that's fine. But what really complements everything is the surrounding decor. And that's what jewelry will do for you. And of course, because it's metal, jewelry, it's shiny, it's going to make you look more expensive and daring because you'll be surprised how many people have 
told me they want to try out rings, but they're held back by something and they never even try something out. Now, tip number six is to add something with a collar to your wardrobe. This can be in the form of a polo, a dress shirt, or my favorite, the coats. The coat brings two things, that lapel collar, which adds a sort of sophisticated, put together look, and also adds length to your outfit proportions. Now, some of my other favorites are the minimal overshirt, which is the item that'll give you the most bang for the buck. They're timeless, come in many different colors, textures, cuts, so that you have plenty of options. And they look so clean, mature, yet they can be styled in a very casual way as well, which just means you guessed it, more bang for the buck. And when you pair the minimal overshirts with the trousers and the white sneakers I talk about, you have my go-to outfit right there. Which just leads to my next tip. Tip number seven, have a variety of outfit templates. A template is something you can follow, plug and play without having to think because you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. You know why? That takes money. So if you have a go-to template, your money can just go to making that template even better instead of spending your money on a variety of different items that don't even go together. So even if it doesn't look expensive right now, money will always come through if you're working, of course, and you can always add jewelry to the template, accessories, different layers, which then might lead to even more templates. Now tip number eight, fit is everything. Everybody knows about this, but I still see people not apply it to their lives. <laughs> Listen, man, if you're scrawny, a fitted shirt is only going to emphasize how much of a twig you are. And if you're a big dude, a super oversized shirt isn't going to work either. So I always recommend follow creators with your same body type. There's a ton of creators making dope content for all sizes and you can relate, you can get inspiration from them and better your style. Now, I think I'm in a place where I can sway both sides. I can wear fitted clothes, I can wear oversized clothes, and that is because of Tip number nine, hit the gym. Listen, I'm all for feeling confident in your own body, but I'm not for being complacent. I believe every human should be doing some form of exercise, whether that be weight training, martial arts, yoga, or even going for a walk for a half an hour a day. And eventually when you do lose weight or you put on some size, you'll be able to sway on fitted clothes or oversized clothes, depending on your mood, which just means more options, which just means more bang for your buck. Exercise is proven to release endorphins, making you feel good. And you're just overall going to be more proud of yourself, which just leads to the final tip and that is to build confidence. Listen fellas, competence leads to confidence. When you get good at something, there's absolutely no way you can't be confident. And the reality is most people aren't good at anything and I don't want that to be you. So when you become confident and you're more sure of yourself, comfortable in your own skin, that just makes any outfit look better. Like if you're walking around heads down, unsure of yourself, not knowing what to do, I don't care how nice or expensive your outfit is, that's just going to make it look worse. Like confidence is just something you could sniff off of someone. And this goes to my short kings out there. Hey, genetics, that's something you can't really fix. But when you become confident in your own skin, you're comfortable with yourself, your height is going to be the last thing you're gonna be thinking about. Now let's just say it's your body type or your income. I want you to add for now to that statement. I'm scrawny for now. I'm broke for now. Both of those were me, by the way. But when you add this to your thought process, it's going to give you permission to make a change. When you say I'm this or that because of my genetics or I grew up this way, blah, 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 blah. That just places you in victim mode and you're blaming other people and nothing ever really happens. But when you become more confident and sure of yourself, that is going to make every outfit for the rest of your life look much better. Now, as a bonus tip, obviously study fashion. Studying fashion on YouTube is completely free, but that's pretty obvious, right? You're watching this video, you're smart. But that is 10 tips from Johnny on how to look more expensive no matter what your situation. Let me know what your favorite tip was in the comments down below. And until then, stay fly, check out Uniqlo, deuces.